Remember, when you see these figure questions, do not try to analyze the graph or the chart. You don't have any context. You don't know what matters. Like the whole point of these questions is they are giving you a ton of data and your job is to sort through the data. So you've got to get some sort of instruction before you start sorting. Now, the question here is pretty vague and straightforward. Uh, which choice best describes data from the table that supports the team's conclusion? So one thing to note there is as I'm reading this passage, uh, focus on the conclusion. They might give me lots of details about what's going on, but it's the conclusion that probably matters the most. So let's read it and see if we can get anything. Try not to get all discombobulated by the science. It's probably not about that. Employing high-performance liquid chromatography, a process that uses pressurized water to separate material into its component molecules, astrochemist Yashiro Oba and colleagues analyzed two samples of the Murchison meteorite that landed in Australia, as well as soil from the landing zone of the meteorite to determine the concentrations of various organic molecules. That sentence does not matter. That is just telling you what is very obvious in the chart. Read the, read the title, read the, uh, the, the headers, and that's basically the same information. Um, next sentence. By comparing the relative concentrations of types of molecules known as nucleobases in the Murchison meteorite with those in the soil, the team concluded that there is evidence that the nucleobases in the Murchison meteorite formed in space and are not the result of contamination on Earth. Okay, so here's what they're saying. This is a great example of how a dumb summary is going to help us, right? I want to I want to turn that into something simple. The team concluded that there's evidence that the meteorite formed in space and is not the result of contamination on Earth. Basically, try to turn a lot of these questions into mathematical kind of equations. To me, this is basically the same as saying meteor not equal to soil, right? They're saying the meteor's from space, the soil is, this, so is just the soil, the Earth soil, right? So that is different stuff. And somewhere in this chart, I'm going to have some sort of thing that shows me a difference between them. So let's keep that in mind as we now go through the choices. So A, isoguanine and purinine were detected in both meteorite samples, but not in the soil sample. Even without looking at that chart, already this sounds good compared to my dumb summary, right? These things were in the meteorite, but not in the soil, right? So, okay, that, that sounds like the dumb summary. Now, is that true? Uh, isoguanine and purine, that's these two things. Yeah, they're in the meteorite, right? They're uh, in the these two columns here on the left, but they're not detected in the soil. So, so far, this just looks good. I, I don't know for sure. There's a lot of complicated things going on, so maybe it's more in-depth than that, but let's just look at B and C and D and see what happens. B, adenine and xanthine were detected in both of the meteorite samples and in the soil sample. Well, if we're saying the meteorite and the soil are the same, that seems different from what we expected. Now, is that true? Adenine and xanthine are in both? Yeah. There's numbers in all those columns. I don't know what those numbers mean, but if we look here, yeah, that's choice B. Seems like there's numbers there. Uh, but because of the summary, the dumb summary, I'm getting rid of this thing. So, gone. Uh, C, hypoxanthine and purine were detected in both the Murchison meteorite sample two and in the soil. Again, this seems to be saying the meteorite and the sample are the same. The soil and the meteorite are the same. They both have this chemical. I really want to say that they're different in some way, so that doesn't look good. Um, you know what? I'm not even going to bother to check if it's true. It, it does not match my summary. Stick with that. D, isoguanine and hypo hypoxanthine were detected in the Murchison meteorite sample one, but not sample two. Well, this is comparing the two samples of the meteorite, but the whole point is we need to compare the meteorite to the soil. So, no. So notice that in this particular question, the chart didn't really matter that much. Um, I didn't know that when I started, but this really wasn't one about true and false uh, data in the chart. This was more about understanding what they wanted, what this conclusion was, simplifying it. I would have written this down on my page, just to be totally clear. You get scratch paper for reading. Use it. This is what I would have written so that I don't have to keep rereading that last sentence. I have a much clearer, much more understandable idea that I can keep in mind, keep thinking about as I go through these choices. And sure enough, yeah, A basically is a sentence version of that. So these are really helpful tools that we can have to make some of these complicated figure questions much easier by not having to focus on every little piece of information that they give us.